All right, welcome back, Ronnie B. Speed Shop. This will be a little bit about how to not put studs on your snowmobile. This track that I'm cutting up here is the track off my Mach 1 that broke off on the trail. The track ripped right off the sled. And I'm taking the studs out. Now this track is three quarter inch high, so if you you know, put a level across and then you measure up, it's three-quarter lugs. If you measure the studs from here up, it's an inch and an eighth. The actual height of it is an inch and a quarter. From here to the top, inch and a quarter. But once you put it in, it's inch and an eighth. So yeah, this track is a three-quarter lug track. And uh, I'm going to pull the studs off. Because uh, it's either I'm going to use the studs or pretty much throw everything away. So I'm going to put the studs on my sled. But the thing is, my sled is inch and an eighth lug. So I'm going to put on eighth and an inch. Well, it'll be eight, inch and a quarter studs, but they'll be inch and an eighth after I put them on. So they'll be the same height as my track. So, you may say, well, why do that? It's a waste of time and money. Well, the lugs are free, and I don't feel like buying new studs. And this track is messed up. The only thing wrong with this track, as I just noticed, is it's missing three lugs in a row right here. Which really sucks. One, two, three lugs. So, what's, so I figure... Why not just put some studs in, because even if the studs are the same height as the lug, it's still going to grab and it'll work good in the powder and it'll work good on the trails and on packed, you know, packed snow. And I even think on solid ice it's going to grab too. Because, you know, once the weight's on here and he's pushed down with me on it, the weight of the sled, that the stud's still going to grab the ice, so... So I think either way, it's going to run better, even though the lugs are the same height as the studs, because it's, it's going to grab either way. So, but the thing is, is the Mach 1 was a 121 track. This is a 136. Somebody added on from here to here. So I'm not going to have enough studs, plus... Plus, I lost some studs. There's studs missing, so. So what I'm gonna do, I think, instead of putting them in the right way, I'm gonna put them in, I'm gonna go two, one, two, one, all the way around. And I think I'll have enough doing it that way. So basically, I'll go, Two one two one two one, but I'm gonna start putting a lot. I'm gonna put them in. I'm gonna start like over here. And I'm not gonna do this section until last, because if I have enough studs left over, going two one two one, I'm gonna go two 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 right through this area where my lugs are missing. So yeah, that's what I think I'm gonna do. So it's going to be 2-1, two, 2-1, one, two, one. and I don't know if you can see in here, but there's spots where they, you can put the lugs, or the car, or the whatever. And there's spots where, in the stud, where you put the studs, but like this is wider, thinner, wide, wide. So what I think, I'm just going to copy wherever I have to put the two, I'm going to copy what this is because this is wide narrow narrow wide so I'll just copy how they have it set up and the other and uh, every other one will be one so it'll be you know what I'm saying two one two one two so that's how I'm gonna do this as far as my guard under here for support I don't know if these are stock or if so I'm going to put these in, but they're about, I don't know, quarter maybe, quarter inch. 
And because this was added on, there's really nothing right here to worry about in the the studs are going to be the same height as the lug, so I don't think I'm going to really I'll have to really worry about anything getting destroyed up in there. So I have a little bit of backing right here, and then plus the studs and the lugs will be the same height. So, so either way, the lugs are free, or the studs are free, so I'm just going to pull them out of the old track and put them in. I think it ain't gonna hurt nothing. If anything, it'll give me more uh, traction. So uh, I'll get this done and I live right by the lake so I really can't run it on the lake and let you know how it worked out until the lake freezes. So, But I think it's gonna work. I think it's gonna grab good. I'll have a lot more traction and uh, I'll just use them up. I mean, I have nothing to lose, right? The track's already messed up. And I have the studs, so basically I have nothing to lose. So let me show you how I am getting these bastards out. I'll be back in a second. All right, this is a little noisy. This sucks. Try to get these out. This is a four millimeter. Put it in the groove. Some of these are pre rusted. Find the groove. Close your ears. Get that pounded in. Make sure it's in there. Make it stuck to the table. Now we pull it up. Can you see right there? Yes. Now we heat it up until the goo comes out of the bolt. These are, uh, have the, what's it called in them? Locking bolts. Oh, oh, oh. Let me sure my socket is on, my air tool. Dylan just about had it. Alright. The track does start on fire at time to time. Just blow that out. Pretty much heat up until the goo starts coming out. You gotta do this just right or you're gonna screw up either the back side or the nut. The goo's coming out nice. Blow out the fire. Get that on and it's off. You gotta do it just right or it doesn't it doesn't work out, trust me. Got this stuck on there. Pound that back off. There she blows. All right, I'm gonna finish getting these out. Get them cleaned up, and then we got some drilling to do. I ran over to Rob's performance, and I picked out a picked up a uh, what do you call it? I don't know what you call it. What you drill the holes in the track for, for the studs. I went there and I said, you got that tool to drill the holes in the track for the studs? He's like, uh, no, I think we have to order it. I'm like, are you kidding me? You put on a drill. You, you don't have those in stock? He's like, oh, you want that? I'm like, yeah, what do you think I freaking wanted? Pretty much all it is. You can use a drill bit if you want, but this is 15 bucks. And you can reuse it a million times, so. All right, I'm gonna get the rest of these studs out. I got one more piece this size to do. And then we can start drilling a million holes. Two one in the out, one in the middle. Two one, two one, two one. And if I have extra, I'm gonna put two, two, two right in that spot. Bye bye. All right, so I got all the studs out of the 121 track. They're going to go into the 136 track. I got to get them, uh, I'm going to clean up the studs. Well, I'm going to try. You see they're pretty rusted. 
They're really rusty. I've been hearing that apple cider vinegar is really good on like metal gas tanks and stuff, so we're gonna try it. I'll let it sit overnight. It'd be amazing if all this comes out clean. This guy. A lot of rust. Apple cider vinegar. I hate the smell of vinegar. Can you see? Can you see? In the coffee mug, coffee uh, container. Yeah, I hate this smell. Fill it to the top. <laughs> All right, what do I do with my cover? There it is. Down. Shake it up. A bit. All right, Ugh, got it on me. Shit. Oh, that's nasty. Oh, that is freaking, I hate that smell. Alright, tomorrow we will uh, put this together. We'll see if uh, the rust comes off. See you later. Well, alright, it's been a day or so. Got my studs in this uh, apple vinegar. See how these are looking. Oh, well, actually, it actually worked. Rust is off. Still some rust on the back of that one. Focus, stupid. A lot of the rust came off. I gotta draw the holes in the track, so I might as well just let them soak. Bunch of crap floating in there. Down to the bottom here. What's in here? Where's oh, a plate? Yeah, most of the rust is off. Not bad. All right, I'm gonna drill some holes. Let that nasty shit set. I think what I'll do is I'll cut a little slit in here, put this on, and then I'll drain that into my fire pit or something. Nice. That stuff stinks. All right, let's go drill some holes, eh? Extend the leg here. Just one of them. Uh, 
What's the date today? November 19th, 2015. We're going to get like four to eight inches of snow on uh, Saturday. That's the good news. The bad news is I can't go in it because I need the lake to freeze in order to go anywhere. And the lake is far from freezing, so I'm screwed. All right, so I'm going to... Got three lugs missing. So I'm gonna put some white paint right here to tell me when to stop drilling holes. So I'm hoping I have enough to go two, 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 two. See that? How's that looking? How's that looking? So yeah, this will help in the hard pack and the powder, you know. I bet it would help on the ice too. So how should I start? Should I do two? So I'm just gonna copy what the sled has and then put one in the middle. How not to do studs? <laughs> I really don't want to pull my flap off. I'm going to need something to... i got to pull it out. Poker tool. This is going to take a while, huh? So I got two, and then one. Right in the middle. I'm just going to guesstimate. Where are these at now? I can't see where they're... You know, these are out more. Then they go back in, then they go back out. So I just copy what they have. I wonder if I can just keep going and then it just pops out on its own. Is that how that works? Let's see. Yeah, that's how that works. All right. That makes it easier, huh? Now one, right in the middle. Come on, get in there. Oh, 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 missed it. And then one. Oh, come on. All right, I'm gonna. I will do a cup more, and then I'm gonna shut you off and just do this. And then one. So basically I have the same amount of studs as a 121. I just got a longer track. Alright, I'll keep going and then I'll get back to you. Bye bye. Alright, can you see these dots on the floor? 
that's how my studs are gonna are gonna be set up. Cause I copied uh, where they go on the track. But I just put one in every other one. I put one in the middle. So you got two inner, one center, two outer, one center, two inner, one center, outer. You know, repeat. So that's how it's set up. Now I'm ready to start putting them in. Now I didn't put them in right. I want that. That's where I'm gonna start. Here, here. See how many I've got left over, and then I'll do two, two. Because he's missing. We'll see how it works out. I wish the lake was frozen. I want to miss out on all the snow, unless I can find a way around the lake. <laughs> Might be a mission. We'll see. All right, I'm gonna empty that bucket of vinegar and see what these studs look like. All right, I dumped the vinegar out. I don't know if you can see that. There's no rust in there, really. It's pretty damn clean. I took a few more studs out and threw them in there today, so there might be some that aren't as clean, but that's surprisingly pretty clean. Clean enough. Oh, I threw a bearing in there too, I forgot. <laughs> That's clean. Oh, yeah. Yay. All right, I'm gonna wash my hands and then try to wipe these off. Get back to you. All right, I put a couple in to see how it's gonna go. It's not bad. I'll be here for a while. Put a little oil on these uh, studs, maybe help them go in better. You see there's nothing, there's no attraction in the center of this track. So this will definitely help with something. Trying to find the best studs, the best bolts. All right, that's three. Only a million to go. Nice so you don't have to hold it back. These other ones, I should have put them closer here where there's no track. I'm just noticing that now. You know, see what I mean? This is kind of right behind the track. Should have went in this opening. So some are way out, in, way out, some are inner. Oh yeah, I'll be here for a while. Sure they're flush. Come on. There's the hole. Beautiful.
Maybe next year I'll put a nice new track and some new lug studs. All right. I'll see y'all in a while. I'll be here for a while. All right. Got her done. Now where I stopped with these white lines, I needed 12 studs to go to here to here. And I had uh, 15 studs left over, so I was able to go two, 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 right through there. And the rest is one, two, one, two. <sighs> they don't look too bad. They're about the height of the lug. So that'll work. I had to get pretty good traction now. Even though they're not the right studs, they should stick up three eighths past the lug. Well, they don't. They're free. I reused them. The track is shit anyways, so I have nothing to lose. So I used them. Better than nothing. So there you go. How to put studs in the incorrect way. Until next time, round of performance.